What's going on everybody? Earth here. Welcome back to Evil Within. Um, we're ready to go ahead and pursue the next boss. If I can figure out how to get away from the nurse there. Um, you can use some bolts here. We're probably going to use a couple electric bolts uh, to keep them from moving, basically. Anyway, there's a part coming up where you have to dodge a bunch of stuff and the camera's kind of weird, so just try to watch my pattern, because if you're doing it on casual, it's going to be the same exact pattern, probably. That's uh, what I did for my Nightmare nightmare playthrough. I had to watch somebody else's uh, thing to see the pattern before it came, because I died like three times in a row and I wasn't having it. So anyway, there's that Resident Evil 4 symbol again. <laughs> um... Go ahead in here and just get ready to run down this hallway, the opposite way that the camera's facing now. And you have to dodge these little traps on the floor. So, bust out of that with the left stick, run back through. As long as you can see that door frame right there, you're safe. I tried to climb up there, I guess you can't. Never really tried to do that before. So anyway, for this part here, uh, it's kind of dark. If you turn the brightness up on the game a little bit, it's probably a little bit easier. I'm not going to do it though, because we just made it. Actually, you know what? Ah, oh, shit. You're safe. Where's Kid? Kid? Gibman? Is she here too? Kid. Kid. Is she alright? Is she alright? Alright? Uh. Stand back. I'll get it open. Go ahead and punch that shit. Uh, we're basically full health, so we're not worried about it right yet. I wouldn't even do that yet. Go ahead and search your room right here. I know I've seen the ammo in here before. So, like I said before, might be different in your game just because it's not uh, in mine doesn't mean it's not going to be there in yours. So, anyway. Go ahead and bust out some heavy firepower. Um, I have the fire bolts now, so this is going to be the first time you get to see me use them. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited, man. This giant bottle of gel sitting on the stairs right there in that cinema. <clears throat> Never noticed that before. And so this first encounter you gotta take him out. And you see one fire harpoon bolt. Done. Nothing doing, man. And don't miss the, the jelly drops. Only a thousand. But what do you want from like a one hit kill encounter there? Anyway, um, come on in here. Why it's not letting me pick that up, I really don't even know, man. So, yeah. I don't want to come in here. He's going to start to pop out of the floor. Um, just keep typing X fast. And he's too slow on this difficulty to even bother you. Just run right by him. 
That's two encounters down. Two encounters, one bolt. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. Uh, your goal right there is to turn that valve handle that I just passed, but go ahead in here. If you have room for the ammo, I'll go ahead and get it. And, and watch your little scene here. One shot again, boom. Go ahead and get your green gel, brain gel, whatever, whatever. And then back into this room here. And uh, straight through here. He's gonna get angry and bust that valve handle. So um, what you need to do here is run back to the original room. You see this impossible to miss glowing blue object here? Go ahead and grab that thing. Uh, you may want to go into your inventory here. This is what I'd suggest. Make one electric bolt. And then just kind of wait for him right here. As soon as it activates, run by him. And he may have laid a couple of traps on the floor. So just don't get hit by those. Just go ahead and X-tap this. And if you electrocuted him back there, you should have just enough time here. He walks up like an idiot. He misses the swing. Uh, that worked out really well. But, uh, you know, you can go all the way back to the area and do the electric thing if you feel better about it. Um, either way, on normal or casual, taking a hit right there isn't really going to do much. So, that's just about it for this encounter, and for the chapter. Um, there's one more thing you have to do, and just follow the trail, climb the ladder, and get ready to shake the uh, left stick back and forth. Um, and this does not count towards damaging you, so if you're doing this on a kumu, uh, you know, it would be impossible to get past this because it's a one hit death. Go ahead and this is pretty cool. Take this. Finally. And don't miss this. It's easier to just run left there and get to the next level. But like always, it's worth it to investigate in this game. There's stuff everywhere. 800, but still. Oh, there's a lot of popping right there. So, yeah. Uh, next time I go to the nurse office, I'm probably going to put another point into Sprint. Just because... Don't miss this one over here. Go ahead and hold circle when you get to the ladder. And that's it for chapter 7. So, you know, we had a new boss encounter. We used two bolts. Took zero damage. And it was really easy, man. If you don't know what to do there, it could be a pain. But if you just follow that, man, if you have those flame harpoon bolts, like I said at the beginning, it uh, makes all the difference, man. You don't have to use anything else. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you for Chapter 8.